So on this OBS tutorial, I'm going to show you a really super easy way to convert MKV files over to MP4. So if you don't know what that means, let me show you. So if you go to OBS and you go to your settings and then go under output and then recording here, you could choose a number of settings. But what we're talking about here is the recording format. Now, if you choose to the drop down, there are multiple recording formats that you can use. And the most popular here is MPEG-4 or MP4. And even though this works well most of the times, if for some reason you have an issue with this and your OBS crashes or you have a power loss or something else, you pretty much lose that entire file. And OBS tells you right here in the warning, if you choose MP4 or MOV, this could happen. And so instead, what they recommend is you use another file format, specifically MKV. And this file format is very stable. So even if you have a crash, you won't lose the entire file and basically it'll have the file up to that point. But the problem is if you use an MKV format, this is not a very common format, even though most video editors can use it. And at the same time, maybe you just want to choose a format that is used by a lot of video editors and also a lot of different software know how to use MP4 and it's well supported. So in that case, you have a number of options. You can either convert this over to an MP4 file, which I'm going to show you first, or you could do it automatically through OBS. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this format as an MKV. I'm going to apply and say, OK. So once you've done that and you go ahead and record a file, let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and record this vertical video file. And I actually have a window right here that I'm going to record, which is vertical. So let's go ahead and start the recording. And then I have a folder for all my vertical videos. So as you can see here, here is the .mkv file that's recording this particular window right here. So once I'm done, I'll go ahead and stop recording. And now if I go back to the folder, you know, that file is done, but it is in an MKV format. So if I open this up, you're going to have to choose something that could read that format. So there it is. There is the file and it works, you know, just as you would expect. But what if you want to convert this to a MP4 file? Well, the easy way to do that is first manually. So if you go to OBS, go to file, remix recordings, and then you choose the OBS recording. So in this case, I'm going to choose this MKV file. And then I'm going to convert this to MP4 and I'm going to go ahead and click on Remux. Okay. Recording Remuxed. Close it. So if I go back here, there it is. There is the same file, but now it is in a MP4 format, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's the first thing. But the problem, as you could probably guess, is that this is a manual process. And so a lot of times I don't want to manually go ahead and do this for every single video. So let me show you how to do this automatically. So if I go back here to OBS, go to my settings, then go to advanced. There is an option here that allows you to automatically remux to MP4. It's under the recording options. Just go ahead and check this box, apply and hit okay. So now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and start recording. The window here, just move this around a little bit. Great. And then if you actually look at the folder, there's the MKV file. And I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. And it did that really quickly, but there it said Remux recordings. And there it is. It converted it to an MP4. And you have both file formats available. So here's the MP4. And then here's the MKV, same exact file, same exact recording. Uh, but the great thing is I was able to do this automatically. And this is really great if you're the type of person who does a lot of recordings and you don't want to lose it, especially if you're the type of person who does long recordings like gameplay and so forth. And you definitely want to have a backup just in case something goes wrong wrong and obviously it has saved you time from manually converting this to mp4 so if you actually had any thoughts on this 
conversion or remux feature be sure to leave in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my obs tutorial tips and tricks i do have an entire playlist i'll leave that in the description area below so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe and i'll see you on another episode for serious youtubers check out tubebuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below